Hello everyone, Daniels here. Let's continue where we left off in the last tutorial. We have the Java development kit installed, and now we can install an integrated development environment for Java, for, for the JDK, for Java EE. Namely, we need to install Eclipse. Eclipse is a development environment for Java EE. So I'm going to search Eclipse in Google, the Google search, and there we go. The first result is the one we're looking for. Actually, just to make sure we can type Eclipse Java, that way the first result will be definitely the one, the first several results will be definitely the right website, eclipse.org. And here, um, there we go. This is the website of the Eclipse uh, Integrated Development Kit. Um, actually, integrated development environment, not kit environment. And then all we need to do is go to download. And there are several versions of Eclipse. This is tempting to, the, to download this one because it says for Java developers. But actually, this is mostly for Java standard edition developers. Since we are developing with the enterprise edition, there we go. We need to download the second tool that says Eclipse for Java EE developers. And if you're on Windows, you download this. If you're on a Mac, no worries. All you have to do is to change to Mac OS X. There we go. And then in Mac OS X, you just download your version. So, and there are no installers. All you'd get is a zip file. So. This is the exact same process in Windows and in a Mac. So I'm going to download it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to continue this tutorial when the download is going to be finished. So I'll see you, I'll continue when the download is finished. All right, the download now has finished. Here is the zip file. And whether you on a Mac or on a PC like me, you're going to just get a zip file. There is no installer. So you can take the zip file and extract it. It's very similar in a Mac. For example, you, in a PC, you can click on extract all and just extract Eclipse to wh whatever folder you choose. So for example, we can extract it to Eclipse Luna. I actually already have this folder, so I'm going to extract it to Eclipse Luna too, because on my computer, I already have the Eclipse Luna folder. So I'm just going to extract it to a folder with the two in the end. Okay, and then we have to click extract. So, okay, let's just start it so we can see how it works. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to come back when it's finished. Oops. Great, now I've got the folder set up, and that's how it got extracted. That's all it is, there is no installer, you just extract a zip file, whether you're on a PC or on a Mac. Now we can just start Eclipse by double-clicking on the Eclipse sign. If it's going to ask you for the location of Java, then just point it to the directory where Java is installed. So on a PC, that would be uh, program files, program files, uh, Java, and JDK. So I hope it will not ask you where Java is installed, but just in case, you can point a clip to that folder. Now, it will ask you where do you want to store your projects. That's called a workspace. So you can choose any folder on your computer that's suitable for storing your Java projects. So for example, I'm just going to call it Java Learning, Java Learning Course. And I'm going to click OK. You can choose any folder on your computer that's where Eclipse is going to save your projects that you're going to work on. You can change this folder later on, of course, but that will be the folder where Eclipse will initially store the source code and 
all the files associated with the projects, with the Java projects you are going to work on. There we go, Eclipse has started. And when you see the screen, they should be very similar in the Mac, actually uh, exactly the same. It will be nice to do uh, help about Eclipse. There we go. And that's all it is. Now that we've got that, uh, we finish the um, this tutorial. We'll finish the setup of Eclipse, and we'll continue right from this point in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.